Welcome to Lit Happens, Saskatchewan's showcase of the literary talent of the province. We are out on location at Unreal City in Saskatoon, and I would just like to say this shop is great. You need to check it out. I'd like to welcome my guest, Rosemary Nixon, to the show today. Thank Rosemary. you so much. I'm oh, honored to be here. I'm honored you're here too. Uh, as most people probably know, you are the current writer in residence yes. at the Saskatoon Public yes. Library right now. I'm also honored to be on a program that says Saskatchewan Writers because I live in Alberta, yeah. but I was born here, grew up here, and it's home. Oh, well, it's my own little personal mandate that we always get the writer-in-residence on well, our Well, that's show. good. So we, I'm really happy you're here. And we're going to actually talk about the writer-in-residence position, but first, I'd like to get a little bit about you uh, and your career. Tell us about your literary career because it's been quite broad and interesting. Well, yeah. This is my fourth book, Are You yeah. Ready to Be Lucky? I have two short story collections and a novel. Yeah. Um, I my my third book, uh, the novel, is about as different as "Are You Ready to Be Lucky" as you can get. Yeah. It's it's very sad. Yeah. <coughs> it's very beautifully written, I think, um, dealing with a baby in neonatal care. And this one is much wackier and funnier. Yeah. I'm also a freelance editor mm. um, across Canada. I do a lot of writer in residencies. I I teach all over the place. Um, even in Greece in wow. the summer, often. Um, so yeah, I, it's it's varied and it's wonderful. I love working with with people, and there are fabulous Saskatchewan writers, some mm. brand new, who are really listening to edits, and uh, most yeah. of them. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's it's a lot of fun. So how did this all come to be? Did you always know you wanted to be a writer, even as a little girl? Well, you know, I, last night I, was, I did a workshop for teens, and I was telling yeah. them that when I was a little kid, my sister and I used to write, mm. and I'd write mournful stories of pioneer women and their children dying, and Marilyn would write love stories about beautiful blondes, and we hated each other's <laughs> stories. But I never had a sense that there, were, that there were real writers. I thought they were old dead men, you know, yeah. gr growing up where I did. That's what, who we studied. So I wanted to be a teacher. And I used to line up all my dolls and teach them. And uh, I was uh, 30, early 30s before I fell into writing. So, wow. um, and just fell in love with it. So It's often been called a, a good addiction on the show. Yes, yes, that's yes. absolutely what it is. Yes, it yes. grabs hold of you and Very you true. doesn't let go. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, as I mentioned, you're the, currently the writer in residence. Uh, I guess we're all kind of curious. What is a day like in the life of a writer in residence? Not enough sleep. Yeah. <laughs> I do. I have two office days per week here. Yeah. And I do one on one. So I spend mm -hmm. a lot of time when I'm not um, in the office editing people's work. I'm doing a lot of talks, a lot of workshops, um, s readings so that I'm out and about in Saskatoon a lot as well. But an awful lot of editing and one-on-ones and, one -on and, and working to help the writers in Saskatoon and area um, get better. Nice. Yeah. Are, are you finding you're swamped or is there a lot of I'm booked hunger? totally till the end of May yeah. when, I, when I leave and have been for some time and I'm turning down numerous people per day, which yeah. makes me feel terrible. But I have to sleep sometimes, you do. so you do yeah. Have to sleep. yeah. And I'd just like to give a little plug that you are a brilliant mentor because you've been well, mentoring me, you. and I'm well. You're a lot. wonderful to work oh. with. You're one of those amazing <laughs> people to work with. You take edits. You're engaged. You're intelligent. I'm, it's it's fabulous. I'm yeah. very engaged. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay. All this being said, I guess we'd like to know where in Saskatchewan, where in Canada, can and viewers find out Kalita, your first novel and your new novel. Are you ready to be lucky? Yeah. Where can you they check you can get them here in McNally Robinson. Good. You can get them on Amazon. Awesome. You can get them in um, most bookstores have them, and it's also on Kindle, I believe. And yeah. it's so I think it's just out I'll there. Order. Yeah, and yeah. they'll order it in if they yeah. happen to be out. So nice. yeah, and nice. I hope people will. Nice. Okay, I know we're running out of time, but I'd like to know what does the near future hold for Rosemary Nixon the well, next couple of years? Um, I'll be back in Calgary for a while at least. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm starting work on a new project that's so new I hardly know <laughs> what yeah. to say about it yet. I'm figuring it out. I'm discovering as I go. I'm not sure. I think it's a novel at this point. Um, I do a lot of teaching in Calgary, writer in residencies, and I'll be continuing to do that when I go back. But I love travel. I've lived all over the world at various times, and uh, yeah, I just yeah. may be back here, but not in the winter. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well, I think this winter was a little much for. Yeah, everybody. I was. Yeah. Yeah.
Well, I just want to say that it was great to get you here today. Uh, you came down to Unreal City and we had a blast. And uh, I know you probably have 500 things you have to do after this. but Well, thank you, Wes. I'm pleasure. delighted to have been here. Thank you. The pleasure was mine. Okay. That's all the time we have today for Lit Happens. If you enjoyed today's segment, you can see previous episodes on the Shaw TV website or on my website, westfunk.ca. And you can connect with us online on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. So I'll see you next time on Lit Happens.